Good morning, everyone. This is Narada Rishi Raja with ExpeditiousFool.com, putting mindfulness in motion. And here we are with your Lightworkers card pull for the day. So let me go ahead and jump right into it today. Today I'm using my Buddhism deck. If I could find it somewhere here. All right, let's see what we've got. We've got, oh, one of my favorites, the Sri Yantra. Let me try and get that light out of there. There we go. They say one of my favorites, it's on my meditation cushion. Um, I have something back here on my altar for it. My big bowl. Um, <laughs> it's definitely a symbol that uh, I know and love. So with this, this is, this represents, she's known as a red goddess and she dances, right? And, and this is, this is one interpretation of it through esoteric Buddhism, but, um, Sometimes it's both masculine and feminine, but in this aspect, she's represented it as the red goddess who creates everything through her dance. She dances and dances without care, and this is how all of creation gets, gets in existence. And so as she continues to dance, the vibration continues to go on and change and create more and more and more. Um, this is represented as the primordial sound um, so it would be Om, or in the Bible, when they're talking about in the beginning there was the Word, this would be the Word, right? Um, and then furthermore, she's represented by these petals here on the outside. And those petals, they represent the syllables of the Sanskrit language. Um, the Sanskrit language knowing to be resonant and vibrationally more more subtle, we'll put it that way, describes um, more subtle areas of existence um, in those realms that, you know, we would connect with the divine. The Sanskrit language and a lot of the early, early languages, you know, they, they do that because if you think about it, um, the people of that time were a little bit more connected than we are, which is what, you know, I, I try and teach everybody is to create a new lifestyle where we can bring some of that ancient connection with the divinity into a modern life. Um, so very, very important. Then on top of that, we have this square outside. The square represents the earth. Um, if we get into numerology and geometry and things like that, this is, this is when the material really starts to happen. So before that, we have sound. Then that vibration starts to condense, we'll say. Um, and that's, that's all we are. We're light slowed down, you know, light and sound. They're the same, just at different speeds. Um, so this is what we're looking at here. So we've got the square outside, which represents earth. These are different gates to get through. Um, I'll let you really get a good look at the card here. Um, the different gates, that top one there, that is, um, that's, that's where healers and practitioners and things like that can access higher realms in order to get help in this earth area. Um, that top one there, that represents, um, that represents mantra. So through mantra, we're able to then, then gain different access, different understandings. This is sound, so then we're able to connect with that. Um, and bring new things, well, not new things, but bring assistance in this area, right, um, from different realms that are beside here. Um, and then we have the one at the bottom here. This represents rites and rituals. You know, in the yogic practices, when we have tapas, that burning fire, to connect with this outside here, um, then that's when we start doing the different meditations, breath works, the postures, the diets, the fastings, whatever they may be, um, the, the rituals going through ceremony, et cetera, whatever it might be in order to connect us with that other side that's represented with this bottom um, gate down here, which is known as the Western gate. Um, the one to the left here, is the path of intellect and wisdom. So that would be in the yogic understanding like jnana, so the yoga of contemplation. And not just thinking and logic, no, 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 contemplating, going much beyond logic, going to the depths of, of contemplation. And then when you get to the end, then you can break free there. And then the last one here being bhakti. 
absolute complete devotion. These are the four ways in which you can break through to the other side. And when you combine all of these, when you combine jnana, bhakti, um, mantra, and your rites, your rituals, your DMP, when you, and, and you make all of this part of your DMP, what you, what you get then is you get a life that is connected with this goddess or the representative masculine and feminine, depending on which, which, um, which one you go with, um, which system. But you get this connection all the time when we live a spiritual life. And how we do that is by blending these four together. This is science based off of vibration, based off of sound that's thousands and thousands of years old. As yogic science continues to get studied, um, what they find out is that modern science backs it up, all the things that they can study so far. Um, so with this, what does that show? This shows uh, major efficacy in these ways. It shows that it is possible to reach these ascended states, and it's possible to do so at any time, not just in the past, as long as we can stick to the processes. Yes, people may have stuck to the processes easier and more, more frequently in the past. There may have been more so, but that's the reason why it's more and more important for us to hold that note, to truly live this lifestyle that this Sri Rancher represents. This is a big card today, and I hope that it offers a lot of assistance and gives a lot of people inspiration and maybe becomes a symbol in your life to, to live in deep connection with this in every single moment. All right, thank you so much. Have a great day on purpose, everybody. If you wanna schedule a session with me, tarot, numerology, breathwork, meditation, yoga, I teach those and do those virtually all around the world and then in person, Tibetan sound healing or prana energy healing, I'd be more than happy to get you scheduled and, and add you to my list of, of loved clients. Have a great day on purpose again and stay mindful. Namaskar.